hey hey everybody welcome to the stream it's another beautiful sunday morning here in australia and park fernando hey riggy how, how you again good good yeah i'm pretty good 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 as you can see park fernando again i can't get enough of this map i really can't i'm loving it loving it loving it loving it so we thought we'd come out and then as we laid a nice thick purple line up here last time we'll see where we can lay a nice pick thick purple line this time mate might as well right yeah let's go for a wander and see what we can find and while we're doing that i'll have a hello to the chat we had tom's play who was first in the room followed by of course the hype man himself mr flair how are you both tim kent was next followed by matthew murphy and donald landman how are you your mayor frost giant stace is here wade's here hendry stopped by just to say hello because it's a ridiculous hour of the morning where hendry is it's 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 stupid the man Stays up just so he can drop a like and say hello. He's absolutely fantastic. Bino was next in the room, followed by Michael Bateman and Psycho Fox. Of course, Trevor. Um, Brewster's here. Jerry Can. Zaggy DK. How are you, Zaggy? Good to see you, buddy. I know it is stinking either early or late for you too. So good to see you here, mate. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stace Helfrick, Wolverine, Nez Evans, Kevin Walbridge, James Doyle, Sean Johns. Jonathan Hines, hopefully I said that right. How are you? Welcome to the stream. So good to see you all. Hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, afternoon. I'm not sure. Jerry, glad to be playing Classic again. It's a fantastic game. We had a lot of fun on Ricky's stream with Classic yesterday. There were there were a lot of deaths that were uh, unexpected <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> uh, no animal deaths, just deaths caused by us because we were klutzy and clumsy and just hopeless. So, but uh, we'll see if we can uh, maybe top that today. We'll see how we go. I know the animals on Ricky's map are pretty violent. They like to uh, chase you down and kill you. So I'm all for that. And Fisherman Roo here is here as well. How are you, Roo? Good to see you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I don't know if I've ever seen Red Deer down here, but I'm going to call him anyway. So today I thought I'd come out with something different anyway, because I so often travel with the 243, the 338, and the 4570. I thought I'd change it up a bit today, so we're running with the 3030. Of course the 4570, because you can take every animal in the game with that thing. It's fantastic. But I brought a shotgun along, because I... Uh, watched batch's latest video and uh, he's running roaming around africa at the moment shooting things with a shotgun the 20 gauge mind you and it looked like a whole lot of fun so i thought i'd bring that out as well and of course i've got all the different ammos for it uh the bird shot and the buckshot and the slugs so we'll see i don't know i don't know what's ethical for what but we'll give it a go and see how we go and i get to bring my baby back out again i haven't had the 454 in my hands for quite a while not since fernando came out really so I thought that'll do us. We'll go for a run with that and see how we go. See what we can find. What are you running with today, Ricky? Uh, pretty much the same as you. <clears throat> okay, you're running the lever actions in the shotty as well? Nice. Oh, I've got a 12 gauge, so. Oh, uh, you've got the 12 gauge shotgun. Okay, cool, cool. Yes. Groovy. So, and then the 454. And the 450. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, well, we'll see how we go. Like I say, I have no idea. Now, I, had, I did have a look, and the uh, 3030 is a weapon class 2 as well. Same as the 4570. So I don't, nice. under, I don't understand that as to whether I can shoot an axis there with it or not. I don't know. I'm going to oh, find yeah. out. Yeah. Well, you can, regardless. Well, you, yeah, you, I mean, I can shoot it with a 470 Nitro, you know. Well, I'm pretty sure someone suggested let's do the 470 Nitro, so. Um, but, yeah, I thought it would be a little, uh, maybe a slightly less level. But I don't know. Um, no floating today on the stream. No, unfortunately, we don't have tree stands. Um, and that was, you know, that was a trick of the... Um, that was that was a magic trick that Ricky's been practicing for a while. the first time I've ever seen that happen, ever. Yep. So... Um, um, what was going on? <laughs> it, was, it was quite entertaining, to say the least. Um, but we'll see how we go. Unfortunately, yeah, no tree stands to climb into and float out of. And if you jump off one of the lookout towers... All the hunting stands, you tend to die. Okay, there you go. Flair said the 454s, mule, mule deer, puma, and buffalo. Too big for axis or black buck. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, groovy, groovy. 
And there's an event in the community to kill black bucks with a shotgun. Hello, what's that? That's a black buck warning call. Well, let's see if we can get you in. I just want to know whether you can shoot him with the 30-30. Because I know the 45-70 is too big. Oh, there it's standing right there. I can see it. Hello. How are you doing? So, let's see. I don't really like that shot. Hmm, don't really like that shot. Oh, I don't mind that shot though. That's that's a good shot. If it, well, no, that's not a good shot. I don't do hearts from this distance. Just turn around, stand sideways, and give me a shot. You miserable little black buck. Oh, really? We managed to do a complete 180 without even, you know. 30-30 is good for the black buck. Well, there you go. See now, how does that work, Flair? Because it's the same class as a 45-70. Forty-five seventy is a class two bullet, and so is the um, thirty thirty. So I don't understand that. Jimmy Fingers, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Good to see you. Um, no doing the splits after I fall. I'll try not to, Jerry. That was um, yeah. I had to actually watch the stream to uh, see that, and mm, yeah, quite interesting position I was lying in. I must say, <laughs> <laughs> it's not one that I'd ever be comfortable in. And how you going, you mayor? Frost Giant, welcome to the stream. I did say hello to you earlier, I believe. And of course, Miss Awesome herself, Carius, is here. How are you, Carius? So good to see you. Ernesto Espido, Espido, welcome to the stream. Geez, that put a good hole in it. That wasn't bad. That was that was quite nice with the 30-30. Whether I hit it twice, I don't know, but we'll find out shortly. So good to see you all. Hope you're having a marvellous day. That's... Uh, it's been really pleasant up here recently, actually, not too hot for a change. Normally it's stinking hot. Change. Yeah, normally it's stinking hot at this time of the year. So, you lost a leg. Yep. Just so shot it off. Yep, yep. Wow. And look at that, 100%. Beautiful. Only got it the once, through the lung. Not bad at all. Okay, so that's good. That's good. That's good to know. So I don't, I still don't understand that because if you go to the ammo, weapon class two, weapon class two. So theoretically, I should be able to shoot everything with the. I should be able to shoot black buck with the forty-five seventy as well. And yeah, Bino, the thirty thirty is a really flare. As it's a pretty weak rifle. You're right, in classic. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's it's always been pretty good. In Call of the Wild, it's always it was always the best of the lever actions. The forty-five seventy was uh, garbage unless you persisted and persisted and persisted and persisted with it, which I couldn't be bothered doing. Um, it was just it wasn't on. It was it was really disappointing. It lacked power until they buffed it. The yep, but the thirty thirty that that was always amazing. That was always a great gun. So I don't understand why they gave it so much more power in this game versus classic. But never mind, they did. Tim Kent, welcome to the stream. So good to see you, buddy. Thank you so much for the tune in. Hey, what are you? Access to a mating call. Okay. Mm. I actually brought Scent Eliminator today because I could fit it in, surprisingly. Yeah, I got Scent Eliminator too. Classes are all cattywampus. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand them, Flair. I really don't. It's uh, so much easier in classic to know what you can shoot animals with. You just got to have a look, and certain guns can do certain animals, and other guns cannot. And this one, uh, to have two class two weapons, but one be viable and the other one not be viable, it's sort of weird. I don't understand it completely, but yeah, as I told Batch today. You can't just spray yourself and then wander off. It doesn't work. It's a shame, really. So you have to keep spraying yourself. But uh, we'll see if we can maybe get this access to pop its head out. And Frommy's here. Welcome to the stream. So good to see you, Frommy. And who's pure evil? Carius isn't pure evil. Surely not. Cats are evil. Oh, cats are evil. Yes, yes, yes. I will. Yeah, cats. Cats have been. Uh, Can be. 
more than my fair share of annoying on this map to, to uh, be truthfully honest they don't bother me too much but the fact that they scare off an animal when you're just about to take a shot yeah it's a bit different it makes for a very interesting hunting style you've had a cat for nine years still hisses at you when you get it let me ask you something Ness. did you ever torment that cat while it was a kitten because if you did they remember they are um, amazing at remembering things. My mate's sister had a little Siamese thing that he used to tease the buggery out of. And uh, yeah, as it grew up, it remembered. And it used to hunt him down and chase him down the hallway and bite his ankles and stuff. It's quite funny. There you go, there it is right there. Hello. How are you doing? You need to check. Can check? Yes, I do. There is one right in front of us there, sir, and he's coming in. Quite. Yeah, you're about 40 metres from me. Oh, okay. This could be interesting then, because, yeah, he's pretty much right there. Um, yeah, well, you sprayed a sand eliminator and then you walked away. Yeah, that's right, because I sprayed some more when I got here. <laughs> See? See, I'm smart. I'm, 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 I'm smart, like Homer. It's 24 metres away from me. Yeah, I can sort of see it. I'll get a good look at it in a second. I should be right, because I'm lying down and I've just sprayed myself, so... And I'm completely invisible according to that little little line. So we'll see. Well, it's good to hear you're feeling better, Frimey. And uh, don't ever apologise for time away, mate. Family in real life always comes first in this community. Always has, always will. We're... Uh, Nothing if not accommodatable to all situations. So yeah, it's good to see you back. You only used your foot. <laughs> well, see, there you go. There's your problem, Nez. Like I say, cats have a strong memory, man. And uh, yeah, they really don't like being messed with. They're arrogant as it is. Can you see him yet? Nah, it's, he's behind bushes for me. Oh, I'm going to have to kill him because he's just... He's, he's right there and if we Yeah, I know where he is. I'm trying to get around to it. Oh, okay. I was no. just about there. About 10 seconds more I would have been in the spot. That's right. We'll get, <laughs> we'll get you another one. Sorry. He was going to wander down. No, he was standing still. No, he was I walking was backwards and forwards. Yeah, but in that time. one spot. I was trying to just get around that bush. That's right. We shall get you the next one. Impatient. <laughs> Things are gonna die, man. You know how it is. Hey, look, that's a puma. Go away, you. That's a mating call from a puma. You don't want to hear a mating call from a puma unless you're a male. When you use the in game camera, how do you see where the pictures are that you took? asked JML Fishing. Welcome to the stream, first of all, bud. And they should all go into your Steam folder, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, someone, but as far as I'm aware, your Steam folder is where they go. And, uh, yeah, you just yeah, go I to there. I know about the ones with the camera, though. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. In-game camera. No, I'm pretty sure they all, when you, when you log out of the game, if you take a heap of photos with the in-game camera, when you log out of the game, they'll be um, on screen as in Steam folder. Um... In Steam, yeah, they're in your Steam folder, yeah, because I delete all the ones that I have to take of all the caves and everything when they don't work for the missions. So hopefully that helps you, JML, unless you're on console, and if you're on console, um, hopefully someone in the chat will be able to help with that, because I have no idea when it comes to console where your photos are. I only know the PC version. That's a mule there. That's a mule there, so they're going this way, so that's good. If you're on console, you can't view them. Oh. Well, that's handy. Well, that's that's pretty rubbish. How are you supposed to... What's the point in taking photos if you can't... Surely you can view them. You must be able to on console, because they put them up as king of the kill photos. Um, okay. That is, well, my bad, but that is just stupid, in my opinion. You sh if you can't see your photos, what's the point in even taking any? That's really, really weird. 
So, sorry for that there, JML. If you were on, um, oh, there you go. And see, your mayor says you can. Someone please help JML if he's on console. If you're on PC, bud, yep, they're in your Steam folder, so you're all good there. If you're on console, someone in the chat will, uh, yeah, you can only take screenshots. Oh, wow. Okay, so console is ridiculous. I'm sorry, but that, um, if you push the home button on Xbox and push Y, you can screenshot them. Nope, you can't, says Donald. Now I'm really confused. Some say you can, some say you can't. Um, a 380 elk? Yeah, anything over 350 or 370, I think, is worth mounting there, Wolverine. 350. 350, yeah, there you go. And Caleb, I totally didn't ignore you, man. Sorry. Welcome to the stream, buddy. I'm just trying to catch up on chat and um, everyone's sort of... We're having a bit of confusion over whether you can have a look at your photos, but it appears that if you're on console, you have no camera to have photos, which is pretty... You don't have screenshots. Which is pretty sad, really, because the camera actually takes better pictures. You don't have the little E in the center of the screen and all that sort of stuff. And you know why of actually holding those pictures because they're in the cloud on steam well that's true that is true that is true yeah seeing you don't have the cloud when it's when it comes to um yeah console well that's sad sorry about that um my friend unfortunately no if you use the in-game camera there is no way to uh no way to view them you have to do screenshots otherwise you are out of luck that's a black buck mating call. We'll see if we can call that in. It's all good, Jerry. That's what we're here for. You can, you can if you take a screenshot with the console. If you use the in-game camera, you can't. So there yep. you go. So that's the only way you'll be able to view photos there, my friend. JML is to, um, yeah. No, the game on console isn't connected to Steam, unfortunately. It's a standalone. And that's, that's the problem, see, because Steam has um, the cloud. And although the cloud save can sometimes be an issue, it's um, handy for that sort of thing. But it also all saves it all to your local files too. Well, that's right. That is true. See, and that's weird. Why wouldn't it save to the local files on a... They've got a hard drive on them, though. I suppose you'd fill up the hard yeah, drive. Yeah, but they don't quick. have local files. It's just a snapshot of a save game. Yeah. yeah. That's all it is. Yep, yep, I see how it is. Totally different setup. Well, that's that's the shame, my friend. Sorry about that. We have 31 watching, 27 likes. Awesome. You people are amazing. Thank you so much. Um, Flair, as you see, is, is, is the hype man. He is also the hype man in our Discord. There you go, Flair. <laughs> I've given you a reason. So, well, that's, yeah... I'm sorry about that, JML. That is a that is a bit of a shame, but uh, that's obviously the way that console works. I don't have a console. We do have a PlayStation Four and an Xbox in the house, but um, they're constantly used by a seventeen-year-old. You see it? Cool. Oh, no, nah, it ran. You sod! What did you run? Hey, look! I've got no, no idea. I've got no hands again. There we go. Yeah, yeah, family friendly if you don't mind there, Jamal. We uh, we do have younger viewers that uh, pop into the stream and catch the um, catch the replay as well. So I try to keep it as family friendly as possible. It's all good, bud. That's why the mods are there. There was a diamond carcass on Zaggy's stream. I know he got a diamond teal. And a diamond axis there on his stream. I didn't realize he had a um, a dead carcass of one. That's that's different. And how did you know it was a diamond? Because you can't spot them. You can't tell what size it is. No. It's just a carcass on the ground. It's one of the feed locations for the pumas. So that's weird. Haywood Gale is here as well. Welcome to the stream, Haywood. Good to see you, buddy. Jerry, you're only three. 
You're doing pretty well for a three or I'll you, type. Geez, yeah, you, you type really well, actually. Very impressed. You're going to be one of those um, men's kids. <laughs> How have I been? I've been great, you mayor. How have you been? I've been uh, wandering around and hunting various locations. I did a bit of classic with Ricky yesterday, which was just uh, hysterical. If you haven't seen that, go and check it out after the stream. It was most amusing. A bit of Ibex hunting up in the mountains. And of course, we don't do well with mountain climbing, do we, Ricky? No. no. We do not. not. Not even when we don't have to climb the mountain. That's right. I specifically set up a tent so we didn't have to climb mountains and we still managed to fall off said mountains. So we were uh, pretty impressed with ourselves, really. And Mr. Beard is here. Welcome, Beard. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, hello. What is that? That's a black buck warning call, and we've got good scent, so we should be able to maybe get that out. Come on, buddy. Where are you? See, those flowers are going to make it hard. Mm-hmm. That's all right. We'll maybe go back up this way a little bit because he's in that gap, I think. Ah, okay. Zaggy and Sandra found the track. Tractor max weight was dead when they got there on the ground. Zaggy couldn't pick it up. Sandra could. She got a 1k access and they found it again. Okay. Wow. Okay, that's weird. That's different. And Elk the Gamer is here as well. Welcome, Elk. How are you, buddy? Good to see you. That's... I didn't know that could happen. I really didn't think that the Pumas could actually kill animals in the game. I do remember you, Elk. And yes, you have been gone for a while, my friend. Oh, classic. No, you can't just click the button. They don't just hold your glasses up. You have to hold the button. Um, that's That's really strange. I was honestly under the impression they could chase the animals and occasionally you would find a dead one just due to a feed zone. But if they can actually kill the animals, that makes for a whole different kettle of fish. How can you find melanistic deer, I assume you're talking about there, Hayward? Um, you just got to go looking for them, man. That's, that's a uh, luck of the draw thing. Melanistics, albinos... Piebalds, leucistics, um, the rare fur variations appear to be a lot more prolific on this map, same as they were when Africa first came out. Whether that um, changes or not, I don't know. But yeah, just you just got to wander around and hope you find one. I haven't found an albino puma yet, but I have seen three grey ones now. Which is a shame because the greys look beautiful, but uh, they're just not quite pure white. And Jaxie says, yeah, it's straight. Yeah, that's right, Jaxie. The devs did say they couldn't kill the animals. But uh, if you're tracking one and you find it dead on the ground, then... Then he's had dead animals on the ground before on his map too. Yeah, well, so's, so's Batch. Batch has had dead animals on his ground. I've found blood pools but i haven't found a dead animal yet um so yeah there you go that's that's different and like i say that opens up a whole new uh whole new can of worms for trying to hunt animals if your diamond can get chased down and killed by a puma that would be uh yeah be more hassle than it's worth it would be it would it would make it well yeah you'd be gutted if a puma suddenly ran up and took out a level 9 red deer in front of you or something, you'd be like, what? But no. Zaggy was fuming, punching desks and walls. Wow. See, it's a game. You know? And these things are going to happen. You've just got to get over it. I couldn't imagine getting so upset about a virtual animal, really. <laughs> that you punch a wall. Yeah, I mean, crikey, I don't even punch walls when I'm really, really mad. So, that's... um. I thought I heard it then. That's pretty, uh, yeah. Well, good on Sandra though. She got a uh, got a 1k access there to add to her lodge. Oh no, well they were a multiplayer, so. Multiplayer, so it won't count. Yeah, apparently um, he found the tracks, Beard. And they tracked them. 
track the tracks until they uh, found a dead animal, which I f- just seems really that weird. That seems really weird. That's that's completely. Mm, I don't know. I don't get that. So dead that, animals. The humans are learning. Well, yeah. And yeah, Frymy, a lot of people have found dead animals. Like I say, Batch, the Lone Gamer, has found a couple in his videos now. Um, I'm pretty sure Jaxie's found a couple. Um, yeah. So, Pumas are supposed to leave dead animals, not actually kill the spawn ones. What if the animals... Well, I don't know. Have you ever seen any animals from a dead animal? Any tracks from a dead animal, Jaxie? I, like I say, haven't seen a dead animal as of yet. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Why would Zaggy get mad? Didn't he request the Puma to be added? Yeah, 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 he, he, he told us all mountain lions were coming. So, um, yeah, you know, I'm actually, they don't, they don't, they annoy me sometimes. Um, I've gone to have a couple of nice shots on an animal. Fortunately, not a diamond jet. But I've gone to have a couple of nice shots on animals, and the pumas have come along and gone, nah, 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 you're not having that. We'll just scare that away. It's all good. Don't worry about it. But, um, yeah. Yeah, Lin- yeah, definitely, Wade. Um, oh, that's close. That's an access there. Just across the uh, ridge there, I would say. And we've got good scent. So we should be able to pull them out. There it is. As you can check. Yeah, it's behind the hill for me. It's alright, we'll get him to come out. We'll get him to come out. Yeah, I'm with you, Jerry. I haven't um, found a dead animal yet. Like I say, I've had uh, plenty of plenty of blood pools. But uh, no dead animals. So, um, yeah, I don't know, but maybe they are evolving. I don't know. I try to shoot them if I see them, but yeah, they run. And I can't be bothered chasing pumas. I'd love to be hunted down by one. So if, if they suddenly start hunting us down, that, that would make my game just that little bit more interesting. Mate, you can stop any time, eh? Right about there would be nice. Yeah, hey. Stopping is a good thing, dear. Stop or you're gonna be stopped in a minute. Keep walking there he is. on yeah, he's walking on trees for me. He's coming. He's coming. And he's been shoosted now. And he's having a spastic fit. He's having a fit. Where is he? Ran down the hill. Oh. Just about to take a shot. Uh, oh, there we go. There's another shot of him. Hey, 0 to 25. Collapse before the lake. Yes. And a <laughs> steaming pile. That's the way. Logan and Luke Lipinski are here. Welcome to the uh, stream. Uh, where, you, good water buffalo and red deer spots. Yeah, there's um, good buffalo and water, water buffalo and red deer all up here. This is a great location for red deer around here. Access deer, water buffalo, all up through here, all along here's water. But they're just the water buffalo are great. They're a fantastic animal to hunt, and they're usually in such large herds. It's uh, so much fun to hunt them. So what's the place the after party's at, Flair? That would be the Discord. If you're so kind, you would uh, place the link in there for me. And if anybody in the chat or watching the stream doesn't know about the Discord, it is the barbershop. It's the greatest community on the webs. The interwebs has nothing compared to the, to the barbershop. It's just fantastic. I'm sure Flair will chuck up the link. Get yourself in there. Become part of it. There's a heap of fantastic community content creators, such as that man there, Mr. Ricky Racer, who, streamed with the, who I streamed with yesterday. <laughs> Died with yesterday, streamed with yesterday. It was it was hysterically funny. Um, of course, non inspirational gaming. Sean Johns, the man himself, Jaxy Beard, and uh, so many others. It's 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 hard to go through a list of how many creators we have in that place now that um, 
just do the content and absolutely love it. Uh, of course, you've got Zaggy and Flinter and Dizzy Duke and Jet and uh, Incentive, I believe. Sandra was doing some for a while. So, yeah, just get in there, become part of it. And, yep, awesome. Northeast Woodsman, how am I? I am fantastic. How are you, my, my friend? Welcome to the stream. So good to see you. Hangover after hangover after hangover. Mission accomplished. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want that many hangovers, Tim. That's, you know. And Mr. Venero, how are you, Frank? How you doing? I'm great. So good to see you again. Hey, where did that come from? I'm Barbas. It's a muley, eh? Mule. Yeah, I thought it was a muley. Mule. Yeah. yeah. There's usually a half a dozen of them sitting up the top of that ridge. So, we'll see. We'll see. See what... Uh, See what the mule deer gods want to give us today because they're just, yeah, they're 150 kilos, so he's going to be a three with a really tiny rack on his head. It's just pointless. The no yeah. rack. A no rack. They're just, oh, I don't know. I've seen the fours with the nice big rack and they look great and you'd like to see a lot more of them. I've seen the fours with it. You just shut up. That's a rating call though. Mile. Yeah, I know, he's over the other side of the lake and I don't know if we bothered trying to call him in. They're just so skittish and they sometimes pay attention then all of a sudden they'll decide, nah, nah, I'm going to go chase something instead. So just as you're about to line it up and take that shot, it's, nah, I'll go and chase that herd over there that, you know, you could possibly go and hunt down later, but now you can't because I've run it off. And Glen Year is here as well as Fagno Rise. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, yeah, you're right in my wind now, aren't you? So let's spray up a bit of that. And let's see if we can actually cool you down here and see what you are. Wade says if we try the 270 on the water buffalo, aim for spine and lung. Okay. I don't. Yeah, well, I suppose I could give the 270 a go at some stage. I, I'm more inclined to use the 4570, um, or the 338, or the 454 pistol. I haven't actually shot a whole lot of things with the 440, 454 on this map yet because I just kept putting it away so I could have all the other guns that I wanted. I don't have the extra backpack space to carry extra things. It's not one of my perks and skills. I don't know if this thing's going to come out. Zags has gone mad. He's made the mode of a puma eating a diamond on his server. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's, that's dedication to how upset you are over a video game. <laughs> over a, um, pixelated cat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, I mean, um, deer. I'd have been annoyed if I'd seen the diamond and was aiming for it and the puma came along and chased it off than I would be if I'd actually found a dead animal on the ground. Mm. That, yeah, whatever. Find a dead animal. You didn't shoot it anyway. Oh, he's only a level three. Really? You suck. <laughs> well, you're closer, so if you can see him. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Send him the Frozen movie. Just let it go. Let it go, Zag. Let it go. It's a dead animal. It's all That's good. It. Don't worry about it. You'll get, you got, you got another one anyway. So, you know. Hmm. I don't know. I'd be pretty happy that you found the other one. I haven't even seen a big axis deer yet. They're, uh, yeah, they're all small little fours that uh, just don't look very impressive. I don't think the fives look all that impressive anyway, to be honest. Even the thousand scoring ones, they're just such a small deer. Their racks are, I don't know, not worthy. They're not worthy. They're not worthy. They're really not. They're not worthy of a mount. Put it that way. I would. I wouldn't mount one on a wall. Um, they just. Yeah, it's how I feel a little bit about road ears in classic. Yeah, yeah, road ears. They're, they're just, well, road ears in general. Classic or call of the wild doesn't really matter. They're, they're just pathetic. Well, just shut up your warning and get out here and be shot. Come and have a look at us. Stupid. Yeah, I'm sort of down on the bottom side of that hill. Uh, okay, yeah, he's up behind the tree for me. I can't. Yeah, he did walk out, and then he walked in behind a tree, and he's, he's sort mm -hmm. of stood there hiding ever since. 
Yeah, and he's sort of hiding behind a tree, but up over the hill. Yeah, yeah. All those dead animals respawn on the next restart anyway. See now, so so they are killing animals then. The pumas are actually killing an animal on your map. So that's weird. Yeah, okay. That's not supposed to happen. They were supposed to chase the animals and sort of really annoy the heck out of you by chasing away your diamonds and your big spawns, but they were certainly not supposed to kill them. So, yeah. Yeah, well, I can imagine how happy um, <laughs> Sandra was. <laughs> she, she got a one... But see, no good. Still no good, though, Maddie, because she was in a multiplayer game, so you can't put it in your lodge anyway. So it's, you know, I mean, and that's the other thing. Why would you get so salty about an animal that you can't put in your lodge? Because you're on multiplayer, so there's no good. You can't do anything with it. So it's just another... Yeah. It's just another animal that you shot. Yeah. For the statistics page. That's it. It tends to be why me and Ricky and Non and, you know, we, we just don't care. You just shoot everything to bits because on a multiplayer, it doesn't count. A diamond looks nice and it's great for the stream and, you know, I, I'd love to get one and show you guys another diamond, but at the end of the day, we're out here just to shoot animals and knock them over. And there goes, this is a little Frenchman, he's got his baguette in his back pocket. You know, whack that thing with your baguette or what? I can't even see it. No, it's running, I think, man. I wouldn't even bother. It's gone in the direction that uh, the wind is going. It knows we're here and it's like, nah, not having any part of that, mate. Oh. But that one up there might. Um, okay. Where'd you come from? Yeah, well, that's right. Apparently, he's got a rare diamond reindeer already. So, you know, I mean, I don't have... Oh, there he is. I see one. Where are you? I see you in those trees. There you are. Look at you. You're just as pathetic. Look at that. Really? Where? Uh, just in front of me. He's behind a tree, of course, because, you know, walking behind trees is a thing for these animals. I can see the back of his head. I don't really like that shot. You can't get a decent whack on the lung. Oh, hello. You've got another one walking up towards you, have you? No, I've got a puma chasing. Okay, well, I think something. this might be maybe a pie bowl? I don't know. It looked pretty uh, different. I didn't shoot him very well though, obviously, which is a bit of a shame. I was going for the throat. Oh, look at that. We have tracks up in the trees. Yeah, we have tracks going through the house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. you you got to worry when you've got animals walking through your house. That was a really garbage neck shot. They just flesh wounded him. Um, yeah, he'll... Um, He'll forever keep going. That 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 diamond pine bowl reindeer was, you know, it was a crowning moment for him, and I got to give it to him. It was a beautiful looking animal. Um, so you know, Miss Bethany B, welcome to the stream. So good to see you. Merry Christmas. Hope you had hey, a babe. fantastic time. Um, yeah, I don't know that this mule is going to go down just quietly. And Jet is here as well. Hey Jet, welcome to the stream. It is going to go down. It's at four, it's at fifty to seventy-five, so it's possible. But we did find out on Ricky's stream. Was it on your stream the other day? No, it was on my stream that I did for Sean Johns because he wasn't here. He uh, unfortunately had storm problems. That the animals sometimes won't die now. They'll get down to twenty-five to zero, and they don't die. And their tracks, dis their tracks keep going, and the blood stops, and that's about the end of it. So, I don't know. I thought they'd fix that problem where even a flesh wound was likely to kill them. But maybe it depends on the size of the animal as well. And that's the thing, I think yeah, we were well. doing buffaloes, so maybe the buffalo well, are just buffalo. a little bit hardier. And now they can survive that little bit longer. We'll soon find out with this mule deer as to whether it decides to survive or not. Don't look Floating like rest zone from water buffalo too. Rest zone from water buffalo? Floating. Oh. Yeah, you yeah. find there's there's floating floating zones all over the place. Um you find feed zones right next door to your house, if not in your house. Which is pretty bad, you know. I keep remembering to shut the door, but they keep wandering through. 
as <laughs> could have been a drop bear. Well, that's right. You got to watch out for those drop bears. I'll okay. get you. Um, anything out here that we can see? Just a, just a wandering Frenchman. It's all good. Oh, okay. They can stop bleeding. The div, divs changed it. Makes shot placement matter. Okay, I did not know that they'd done that to it, Jaxi. That's interesting. So this thing, oh, it's 25 to 50, so it may die. It's going to take a while if it does, but it may still drop dead yet. I shot it in the throat. One would think it would die. Mm, crikey. <laughs> I've killed by falling poop. <laughs> uh, yeah, what weapon? I used the 4570 on this guy. Um, I did bring out, oh, there's a pie bolt. I thought he was. I brought out the four, the thirty thirty, the forty five seventy, the shotgun, which I haven't yet tried, and uh, of course my pistol, because you know I love my and pistol. And it's in nice long grass, so you can't actually see it. <sighs> We're gonna give this a go, see if this works. This is the first pie bob yep. deer I've had. It's Don't not work. anything. Ah, that's sad. Well, that, folks, is apparently a pie bob mule deer. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Let's, let's see if we can actually maybe pick it. Well, is he going to let me pick it up? That's another thing. Really? There we go. So, yeah, 0% quick kill. Oh, just missed the neck bone. Oh, really? Yep. But there you go. There's a pie bob. Not very pie bob. In my not opinion. very piebald. Not really. Um, not when it comes to things like the elk and stuff like that. That's, yeah, yeah, pretty, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. And Kovietz here as well. Welcome to the stream, Kovietz. Thanks so much for tuning in. As you can see, that's a piebald mule deer. Or at least the game's interpretation of a piebald mule deer. <laughs> Don't know, it didn't. I sort of, I sort of looked at it when I shot it. It looked like it was pie bowl because of the, um, I just, you can see one spot in its throat, but that's about, oh, hello. Puma. You best be shooting at Puma, maybe, possibly. Mm -hmm. I don't know how far away is it. It's, well, it's a long way away. We best get a little bit closer because you've only got lever actions. Although that's not, oh, look, ducks. Two, three, hey, there's a three. Three duck. It's a three duck. And I didn't bring the 22. <laughs> uh, I can't do it though. Yeah, I don't know if Pretty I'll get it from, I don't know if I'll get it from this distance. And you know what they're like, they're as skittish as buggery, but we will uh, go to ammo and we'll chuck some bird shot in the shotgun and we'll see if we can get close enough to actually maybe shoot this, uh, this uh, duck. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yes, Ricky's flying in the stream yesterday. Like I said, Jet, that's something he's been practicing for a while. Um, yeah, it, it, I was impersonating my Chris Angel. Yeah, it, it, the, so as you said, know. yeah, well, you you would you and Non were both doing it in the uh, stream that I threw on Friday. Was it Thursday? Thursday yep. it was. So yeah, Muldeer. Yep. Diamond duck, no integrity. Yeah, probably not. Um, yeah, well, I haven't got um consec. So you haven't got consec. Oh, okay. Nope, I won't be shooting it. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to shoot. Um, it. We've got ducks coming over as well. Uh, where is the, the diamond? Is gone. The level three duck is gone. One. One. Three. It's a dark one too. Dark one. Yeah, it doesn't look like the normal red. Like they stand out quite um quite well. The red, I, I I love them. I think they're absolutely beautiful. But um that just doesn't seem to have as red uh, back as they normally do. I could be mistaken. I could just be blind. No, nah, it's red. It is red. red okay. On my screen. Oh, I'm blind then. Yeah, it's as red as that other level two that's over there. Um, well, I'm not going to tell you how many, um, how many level threes I've seen on my map then carriers, cause yeah, this is certainly not the first, um, I think, yeah, well, yeah, a few, 
But um, yeah, well, we can we can take you out on my map at some stage because I don't think Non's got a diamond duck either. I don't know that it's going to be a diamond, and whether or not I actually managed to get close enough to hit it is the other thing, carries. If I'd had my 22, I would have taken the shot already, but I put it away in favour of a shotgun. So, piebald teal. Oh, don't you get frightened. That's not the ducks I'm looking for. That's the no, duck they're all over that's, here, 130, that's, yeah. That's not the duck I'm looking for. That's the duck I'm looking for. Right yep. And it is dark. Oh, it is, no. It, it, looks... is, it's, it does look different to me, man. I don't know. It looks the same for me. Yeah, same, same. but we know that um, certain things are also... Um, bleh, how do you say it? I thought Ray's were client side, so it should look the same for both. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll find out soon. Yeah. We will find out. Is it worth jumping to the cabin for a 22? Uh, not really. It's a duck, Julia. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I tend to just, yeah, whatever. Plus, we are a fair way from any cabin, too. That's right. And then I'd have to try and get back here. And, <coughs> yeah, I just don't think I'd make it. It is... Yeah, it's definitely darker, man, on mine. Definitely darker. And Mrs. B is here as well. Welcome to the stream, Mrs. B. So good to see you. Oh. Get a little bit further around here, maybe. I should be able to take it. I don't know. We'll find out. I didn't bring the steel bird shot either, so we won't be eating this duck. Because it'll be full of lead. Just where are you? Where are you and how far out are you? Around the I want those forty-three. He's sixty-eight. I should be able to hit him with the shotgun. Alright. Well, let me wait for him to bob up. He's down. Hey. Nah. A bit far out now. But he's down, so that's one level three duck down. Is he going to float towards me this way, or is he going to float over that way? I don't know. I never know. Here he oh, goes. There's your blood. There's your blood, too, for something. Where's my blood? There's some blood there on the ground. No, there's, there's no blood there. I've got blood. <laughs> See, that's weird, See, eh? That's, that's really wind. weird. That's oh, really no. weird. I don't know. Dazza's, Dazza MM, how are you, buddy? So good to see you. Did you actually hit a duck as well? No, I didn't see Oh. oh. That's why I'm wondering what, why, why there's blood here. See, now that is different. That's definitely different. That is not the normal... That's dark red. Let's have a look. And it is a Diamond 963, and it was a piebald. There you go. There you go, folks. A yeah, diamond. Normal on my screen. Yeah, diamond piebald duck. 0. 0.05. But there you go. On the stream, it's. Are, are you sure I need to uh, aim higher there, Flair? I'm pretty sure I hit it. Now, see, your blood disappeared. Okay, so that was the blood from the. <laughs> That's <laughs> duck. weird. Strange things are afoot. On Ricky's map. Well, now you know you have a diamond duck at this location. Wow. Yeah. So it, it will come back, which is pretty cool. And there's more ducks over there anyway. There's more ducks. There's more ducks over the other side of the lake, yeah. Thank you all so much. Yes, a diamond rare. That is that is actually the first diamond rare I have on this game. Well done. Over a thousand hours of playing this game, um, close to 50 live streams, and that is the first diamond rare I've ever picked up so yeah thank you for that Ricky that's that's great that's awesome yeah it's not a thousand it's not a really really high scoring diamond pie bolt though that's the problem aim high on the ones <laughs> flying away uh, yeah yeah probably should have their flare um, to be honest I was just shooting for the sake of shooting I'd got the one I wanted so I was happy 
<laughs> oh, thank you all so much. That's awesome. Yeah, there you go. The very first diamond rare. And you guys were all here to witness it. So that's two piebolds in a row. A piebold mule there and now a piebold duck. Duck and a diamond piebold. And a, and a, and a diamond piebold. So now we just need to find something that's, you know. Yeah, I broke 1k hours, Flair. Certainly did. It's taken a while. I haven't, um, I didn't do it as quick as you did, but uh, yeah, I certainly broke the thousand. Uh, with a shoddy, yep. And see, that's I, I brought the shoddy out purely because I'd watched The Lone Gamer. Um, it's just, you know, I, I love watching Batch when he's out hunting. He just, uh, he's like me. We have a very similar hunting style. Things move, they need to die, shoot them, and shoot them as many times as necessary. It doesn't matter. But he took the shotgun out to Africa and was uh, banging away at Buffalo and Kudu and whatnot. And I thought, well, why not? I like the 20 gauge and I like that particular model of it because it's the beautiful red engraved one. So I thought, eh, I will uh, bring it out and see how it goes. I didn't expect to see a diamond duck. I didn't expect to see a diamond piebald duck. See, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to get up Zaggy for that. <laughs> I got a diamond piebald too, Zaggy. Yep. Yeah, it's not as big, but it's nice. Hey, it's a diamond piebald. It is, it is. It was a diamond piebald. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. You've been playing since August 2017. I've been playing... Ooh, October. October, I believe I started. Yeah, Jaxie. 2017. Jaxie got it. And uh, I was watching one of his streams one day with it, and it just it piqued my interest to the point that I went out and brought it. And I've never looked back. And they just keep releasing things like this map, which is just, uh, I mean, as you can see, you spend a lot of time walking around with not a lot of animals. Um, we were talking about that the other day, and how many different deer species are in Patagonia? Really? Lots. 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 Lots of different. So with all of this open space, have they left it open to add more animals like they did with the Gemsbok in Africa? Because let's face it, Africa had open, open spots too. Put the Gemsbok in there, not so many open spots. Maybe this map is left so big and so open to allow multiple new species of deer and uh, stuff to come in. We can only but hope. Um, de they'll definitely add at least one more species to this map. They'd have to. It's huge. They've got plenty of space. That is a something calling mule deer mating call. Okay. Let's see if we can call them over. You didn't get that? Yeah. Oh, you did? did. Okay. Yep, yep. <laughs> Bino's oh, been playing since beta and still only level 17. <laughs> yeah, but you're more of a classic player, Bino. And uh, you're damn good at classic, man. So I can understand that. There are a lot of players out there like you that, uh, yeah, just love the uh, love the classic. And the, this was just sort of the arcadey version of it. Um, I thoroughly enjoy both. I can't help myself. I've got to play them both now. Uh, Matthew, yes, it is the Artisan Shotgun. It is the uh, the red one, which has all the nice engraving. You see, you know, there's, there's no X button in this one like there is in classic where you can look up and down the length of your own gun um, i wonder if i can actually see it no uh yeah there and it's only a small picture down the bottom but just the engravings on it i mean it's absolutely beautiful and it's accurate too um i didn't steal anyone's diamond duck carriers <laughs> it'll still be there when uh when Ricky comes back on so anyway. Yep, so it's all cool. And yeah, it's a shame it is multiplayer and I can't can't mount that particular duck, but I really don't know. I mean apparently you can mount the rears. Um and of course they will show up in the Puma, apparently. Someone has said that they've got a grey Puma in there as a legendary. So I don't know, maybe you could have had a pie bulb duck. It's all good. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm with you on that one, Flair. I think once they um, once they fix the few bugs that need to be ironed out, and there are bugs that need to be ironed out, um, I don't have any furniture in my lodge like Jaxie. Um, I've finished all the quests, apparently, that lead up to the furniture in your lodge and still don't have any. So there, And, of course, Jaxie can't shoot the dynamite for the rocks and the gold, gold mine. So, I mean, there are... Is there an animal? No. There are bugs. 
But once they get back from Christmas, I'm pretty sure they will uh, smash into it straight away and we will see a bug fix very soon after the new year when they all come back. I mean, you can't blame them. It's Christmas, New Year's. Everybody's got to have a holiday. Well, that's right. Yep. Press F a few times. Why would I press F a few times? F do. I don't know. I don't know what F does. Oh, F just changes my zeroing. Yeah. Why did you want me to change my zeroing? 255075. Oh, there it oh. is right there. I see it. There's a whole herd of them. There is two. One up the back. That male oh, looks all right. Around. Turn around, yeah. buddy. We'll, we'll get him to come back and you can shoot him, eh? Around. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you there. The driver. No, I reckon they stole it. To be honest, Jaxie. Or if it was that, oh. if it was that freaking pilot, then uh, yeah, they could be halfway across the reserve. They're all gonna come. That four looks alright. He looks. He's got. He's got the smart. I don't know why they. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Where's the four? Two threes. Is that a three? Is it? Oh, it is yeah. two. Huh. Oh. Well, if you want to take the one, oh, yep, yep. So if he's going down. Fifty said twenty-five fifty. Collapse in a heap, dude. Collapse. Sorry, I should have waited. Yeah. So you could have got a shot too. Yeah, it's all good, man. I just patient running through the pair of us today. Yep, yep. No, no patience. Things got to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Like I say, things things must die. It's all good. Um. Okay. Uh. No, E doesn't do it. F doesn't do it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I just didn't think there was one on this um, this particular game flare. I know on Classic you push X and you can look up and down the length of your rifle and uh, have a look at the nice engravings and scratches and, and whatnot on it. Two and do a third person view too. Well, that's right. We see there's no third person view in this, which is, you know, quite frankly, the way I'm dressed at the moment. I'm quite happy there's no third person view. Yeah, well, that's true too. I really don't want to look at myself in this outfit. It's pretty shocking. Um, yeah, Flair Beard has tried uh, from several dozen different locations, uh, half a dozen different weapons. Um, he's even gone back to his outpost and brought new dynamite. So it's there are definitely they're just bugs. There are bugs with the game, and they will fix them. They just haven't gotten to them. And like I say, it was Christmas and New Year's, so everyone's entitled to a Christmas and New Year. I don't know why I'm doing this because it's going to have no antlers anyway. But that wasn't bad, bro. 777. Nice. Yep. Yeah, it's been yeah, bad. My maps never rain. So no. I don't know. No, but then as far as I know, Beard, you're stuck on a quest, the dynamite quest. And from what everybody keeps saying, unless you get through that dynamite quest, it'll continue to rain on your map. That's just, it, it's the way the game is coded. I don't know why, but that's, um, yeah. I've heard that I've heard people say that on your streams a few times now, and I've seen it in a couple of different chat rooms. So, but it rains on your classic as well. I keep telling you, it's it's because you paid all that money to get rid of the rain constantly every time. The rain has now come in abundance and decided it's not going away. It's gone. We've been in drought too long, and now we must rain. It doesn't matter what map we're on; it must rain. Yep. And I do feel for you, buddy, because it's tough when it rains. It's even harder in classic when it rains. I was sitting there at the bear, bar bear barrel the other night on Velvet Wire, and it was raining. It was like I can't see anything. You just can't see anything. Yeah, yeah, we um, we were in France. We were um, yeah, picking up baguettes and coffee. Uh, and on our way back, we stopped in Patagonia just to um, shoot a few things. Shoot a few things, and we're off to France again after this. Yeah, yeah. Up to oh, the top of the Eiffel the Tower. Road. Yeah, there you go. See, Wolverine's covering me on that one. It is it is mission-related as to why you have rain. So, unfortunately, my friend, by the sounds of it, until such time as you can finish that dynamite mission, you are going to have rain on your map constantly, which is a bit suck. Yeah, because it very rarely rains on this. I get Only rain... A few spots. It's yep. only sort of in places. Okay. You don't usually get it where we are now. No, but if it does rain, it usually stops like five minutes after. I mean, I've mm -hmm. had rain for like 30 seconds. 
Yeah, well, that's right. So... Must be climate change, says Jerry. Yeah, well... <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel sorry for the poor bearded man. Every time he goes out to stream, all he wants to do is show you a good time and a nice pretty map with some sunshine and, you know, some beautiful animals and all we get is rain. But he still shows us some beautiful animals. He still knocks over some nice golds and bits and pieces. It's just in the rain. And that's right, Sean. If we ever do... Oh, that's a 178 kilo mule deer. That's fairly large. And that is true, Sean. Yes, yes. If we ever do get a tropical map, Beard will be well ahead of the game. He'll be so used to the rain that it just it won't even feel like it's raining. Um, how long ago did you pass through, buddy? To be honest, I'm almost going to go with you on what you sent me in a DM the other night, Flair, that um, being the way the map is spread out, um, I'll see if I can actually bring it up. Um, H, no, H, no, why? No. Hey, why would, oh, I can't do it because I'm on a multiplayer. The way the map is set with the way the maps have been released, I'm thinking possibly Australia will be next. Um, whether we end up with a tropical or an arid map is entirely up to um, EW. I'd like to see a tropical one personally. Um, but in saying that, that would lead us to more buffaloes. Uh, do we really need more buffaloes? We've got no. uh, animals down there. Black bucks resting down there. Mule deer there. Yeah, mule deer awesome. there. Two maps of buffaloes. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we buffalo. need more buffaloes. So maybe an arid outback map: kangaroos, feral pigs, feral goats, rabbits, foxes, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, that that would be amazing. Um, I'm definitely not going to presume anything with the way that EWR. They'll just surprise us. Oh, hello. You're just going to walk out and say hello, aren't you? Oh. Oh, hello. Yep. The female. It is. And I know there's a male further down, and I know there's a heap of black bucks down there as well. So I thought about New Zealand Flare, and to be honest, I don't think it's a big enough area on the map um, for, the, for them to give us a map. As much as I would love to go home and hunt red deer and fellow deer and uh, sit of, of black duck, black but, buck coming. They're all females too, though, by the looks of yeah, that. Every single one of them. Um, I really just don't believe the map size is big enough to give us what we're looking for in a New Zealand map, unfortunately. So my guess would be Australia. But hey, give us a cross-continent. Give us Australia and New Zealand. Get on a plane and fly to New Zealand. There's a male. That's a fall. Up the back, uh... yeah, 130 meters away. No, it won't be a 4570, it will be a 3030. Well, let me know, and I'll line up on one of these females. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get it back out of the bush again. Oh, hello, hang on, hang on. What are you? Are you another one over the back? Oh, you're a muley, <laughs> whatever. Um, where are you, black buck? Where'd you go? Stop hiding and just, just, just get out of hiding. Kiwis, <laughs> Kiwis are not native to anywhere, thank you, other than New Zealand. Certainly not native to Australia. It's too hot over here. Poor little buggers would die. Um, yeah, there is a male in there somewhere. It just does not want to show its face. And that's 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 about the only way they'd do it, Glenn, is if they actually incorporated New Zealand and Australia as one map combined. Um, I don't don't know that that would work, but um, that'd be about the only way you'd do it. Because like I say, if you look at the size of the map, really you're just going to walk up and say hello, aren't you? You're an idiot. You really are. Um, yeah, yeah. I knew you'd go eventually. And yeah, there are deer to hunt in Aussie too. That's right. There are red deer. Um, some of the biggest red deer. And most angry red deer on the planet live in this country. Uh, there are Rusa, there are Sambar, um, fellow. fellow deer. It's it's all here. So, I mean, that's where I think it's going to be. 
and just the way the maps have been rotating around if you look at i mean i can't obviously show you because we're a multiplayer but if you bring up a single player game and look at the world map everything sort of rotates around there's nothing really left to do other than probably australia there he is okay i finally got him let me know when you're ready yep i'm ready okay oh get out from behind a tree you son three ah oh, three two one shoot oh, that was a terrible shot we went for three in him we went for four in him and he's dead just because as i went one he decided to move Lush tropical area on one side, out back on the other. Well, that's a possibility too. There's a lot involved in something like that, but I'm sure they'd probably be able to do it. <laughs> Feral camel hunting, yeah. Yep, definitely. Yep. Yep. Well, you know, hey, it was Sean. It was an idiot. I mean, what, what sort of deer walks up to a man holding a gun? Really? It's just, yeah. Uh, um, every animal in Australia is angry, Mrs. B. Every animal in Australia has... Too, if you're that hot all yep. the time. It has one purpose, and one purpose only, that is to kill you. That is it. Hey, look, it's raining. Integrity, it yeah, integrity bonus. Of, I probably could have left it and not shot that second one, and I would have been all right. I did get him in the right lung. Wow. There you go. So, 724 silver. Possibly could have been a gold. Yeah. Doesn't bother me. Feral, feral camel hunting, yeah. How many feral animals in Australia that you can hunt? But see, you can't hunt possum, which is really strange for a Kiwi to say that you can't hunt possum. <laughs> it's like, what? Really? Possum? They just should die all the time, constantly. Um, and you can't hunt snakes. Um, no. No, everyone in Australia is not angry. Just the, uh, just the animals. No, we're not angry. They're too they're, they're laid back. too laid back to be angry, man. Trust me. That's why everyone likes coming over here. It's uh, the people here are so no, friendly. Like hey, look. That's the thing. Those black buck are coming back. They are. They've, they've decided you need to shoot one as well. So. <laughs> okay, so I've been quoted again. Nice. I get quoted quite often in that book. Uh, that uh, that page of theirs. The old potato yeah. squad po quote page. Yeah, he wasn't a big four, Sean. I did watch your video today, and for anybody out there that hasn't seen it, Mr. Sean Johns, after the stream, click on his name in the chat and uh, go and check out his channel. He put up a beautiful video today from a Xbox hunt that he's did. Did you hit anything at all? Yep, I did. Oh, you did too. It collapsed. I just watched it. Um, and yes, it yes, the big level one. fours can be diamonds. But, uh, yeah, no, I knew he wasn't a big level four. You could tell just by looking at the rack. He was um, just a normal one. <clears throat> so. <laughs> Tim, we're supposed to be telling people we're friendly. Uh, yeah, and the spiders are probably big enough to put a saddle on and ride. They are um, about the only animal in this country that frightens the living bejesus out of me. I can't handle it. Oh, you already have us in. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd check me integrity. That's 80% now. So next one will be full integrity. Oh, good, because we'll get you another uh, one. Full integrity. Full, um, full 100% can check. Can checks. Beautiful. Well, we best get you another one to kill then. Um, the Discord flare, would that be the word you're looking for? I think I'm, it might be the word he might be looking for is the Discord. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned the Discord a few times. Have you mentioned the Discord? Did we mention the Discord? I think we mentioned the Discord. I'm sure nice. we mentioned the Discord. There's a Discord. In case I didn't mention the Discord, there is a Discord. Flair, would you put the link up for the Discord? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you and please. Um, oh, yeah. oh. There's a whole herd of them all over to the um, right of us. Down well, in that grassy area. I, I, I figured there probably would be and that's why I thought we'd oh, come this I, way. There was a Puma. Ah, it's silly puma. I think it's a uh, puma. Yeah, it was because I heard it before. It was in a chasing call, so it's all good. We'll just keep. We'll but just they're keep all going. traveling in that direction. Um, yeah. So as I was saying, the only animal in this country that absolutely terrifies me 
other than sharks, and I'm smart enough not to swim in their dinner plate because they don't swim in mine, um, is spiders. I'm absolutely hopeless when it comes to spiders. I don't do spiders. Spiders, uh, yeah. yeah. Spiders are bad. Um, yeah, crocs can jump, man, but, you know, there's an axis over here for you to shoot if you want to, just to finish off your checks. Out to the west. Oh, yeah. Just about 60, 70 meters away, possibly, somewhere. Now it's dead, so that's your can check's good. Um, yeah, so, but no, crocs are fine, man. They're the same as sharks. Don't go swimming on their dinner plate. They won't swim on yours. Life is good, you know? It's, it's, not, a, it's, it's not a problem. Yeah, yeah, and that's, that's the issue, Bino. You have shark on your dinner plate, the minute you go swimming in the ocean, they're like, heh. He was eating us. It's time to eat you. Yeah, I don't do sharks or spiders. Crocodiles. Yeah, I've been to a few crocodile parks and seen them jump and stuff, and it's pretty impressive. I wouldn't go messing with one, that's for sure. Oh, you got it. Righty help. Yeah. Lungs and spine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Australian crocodile. If it's um, in deep enough water flare, it'll leap three to four meters out of the water. They um, they just come straight up from underneath. That's how they feed them on the boat. When you go out on a croc farm and you go sailing down the river on a little flat bottom boat and it's got big glass windows up the sides and they lean over the big glass window with a piece of chicken and uh, old big crocodile just sidles up there and powers himself out of the water and grabs that bit of chicken. He's all good to go. They're, um, yeah. They're, a, they're an amazing thing. I mean, let's face it, they're a dinosaur. They've been around since forever. And uh, they just keep coming. Now they're protected, so you, you, they, yeah, it's going to get a bit dangerous again in Australia, I would say, in the next 10 or 15 years. Their numbers yes. will get larger, and uh, yeah. Got seven axes through here. Probably nothing super huge, I can't imagine. Yeah, they're all going to be access feeding zones. Okay. Oh, look. There they are. Oh. Okay. We'll bring you back because even as a three, you look fairly all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a fish and chip person for sure. I love me shark and taties. But um, like I say, I'm not keen enough to go swimming in the ocean because I'm pretty sure they love their people. And uh, I don't want to be one of those people that gets um, eaten. Are you going to come back or are you just going to keep walking like an ignorant pain in my backside? That's right, Matty. Yep, yep. You stay out of my bathtub, I'll stay out of yours. It's all good in the hood. But, uh, yeah, no, they... Oh, hello, what are you? You're a three, you're a three. Really? You're just going to walk? Come back. Oh, Puma. That's why. I see you. I see you, kitty cat. Where'd you go? I've seen you running. Yeah, that one. I've seen you, you son of a... And that's the thing that happens. <clears throat> ah. Um. Yeah, come to Australia, Mrs. B. They'll serve it to you at the fish and chip shop. Shark and tatey is a popular meal. Flake. And seeing you, you'll chase no more of my dear. Just to make sure you chase no more, my dear. I think it was dead before you shot it the second yep. time. But that's, that's fine. Good. Seal seals are fine. Just don't swim in seal infested oceans because that's where sharks are. So <laughs> you know there, there are plenty of reasons to just uh, avoid the ocean. And yes, cassowaries will attack you too. Yeah. Look at that. Tobino. <laughs> No. Uh, yeah, that is like one of the nastiest birds ever. Um, that is just... That, that thing is ridiculous. It's come from the dinosaur age as well, didn't it? It's stupid. I it, think so. I it, think so. It'd be like walking through the forest and having a raptor pop up behind you. They just... <laughs> it's, they, oh, they're silent and deadly. And they'll just rip you open and think nothing twice about it. It's all good. Don't worry about it. I'm a cassowary. You're in my area. See you later. 
So, yeah. Didn't your sister try to pat one or something? No, I think she tried to get up close to take a photo. <laughs> Started stomping and carrying on. Yeah, yeah. She thought that looked cool. Yeah. <laughs> Later on, she found out, no, that's because it wanted to attack her. Yep, yep. That's she was lucky she left. The Crocs want revenge for turning Granny into a handbag and boots. Yeah, well, you know, that, that, that's, as far as I'm aware, that's, that's a good place for a crocodile. There's a pair of boots or, or a handbag. You know, I'm... Uh, I like them, don't get me wrong, but uh, I don't want to meet one. Not really. It doesn't, you know. Man. And thank you so much, Nez. You're awesome. Absolute legend. GG. Welcome to the stream. Use your mobile data. Drop a like and a happy new year. Happy new year and a Merry Christmas to you too, my friend. I hope you have a fantastic one. Good to see you. Yeah, well, you know, you're stealing their fish. Flair. So they, they're just trying to get it back. It's, you know, it's, uh, yeah. You can't blame the seal for jumping in your boat while you're fishing. And, and it's all kinds of angry because it's no longer in the water. And thank you so much, Tim. Absolute legend, buddy. Take it easy. You have a great day. All right. What else have we got? Where else are we? Look at the, look at the view. Of you, you just set up a lookout up here and just sit here and look. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. See for miles. Yep. See animals all over the place when they're around. There they are. Look. Hello. Um. Oh really? There's there's no wind. I think you'd be warning me. You're just up over this ridge, aren't you? He is. He might be dead very shortly. Fake Chow 69, 69. Happy New Year's to you too, my friend. One up the top. Yeah, one. one. Up the 40 out. Yep. And there's one just here. I can see him 30 meters from us. Well, if you've got a shot on him, I will duck and roll out of your way so you can shoot him. Okay. And um, just smash him. Oh, no, Mrs. B, you're working New Year's Eve. I think Ricky's working New Year's Eve as well. Yeah, so, me too. And he's down. He's down beautiful. We're going to pick him up. When I'm the, working tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. So, no, it's not, ju not just Mrs. B, Trevor. Ricky, Ricky's got to do it as well. I probably would have if I actually had a job. Um, I would have been working, but I don't have a job at the moment, so I won't be working. That's all right. One day, and then a day off again. Yep. It'll be a simple day. I'm sure they won't make you work too hard. It's New Year's Eve. You just tell them you're, you're drunk already. You're just preparing for the evening, so you're half drunk now. All good. <laughs> Jesus, Bino. You're not burning yeah, off your hair and your eyebrows. You're burning your arm. I think that was all part of it. Oh, look, he's been docked. He's, he's been de-antlered. And that was a silver. 756. So very nice. Uh, Where are we? Um, we've created quite a nice little purple line. Let's go down to the bottom right. Yep. Yep. I wish I had one as well, Flair. And I will be uh, smashing one in the new year, I'm sure. But hey, there's a per why is there always a puma here when I come here? Always puma here. You suck. Stupid cat. But I know there is good red deer, good axis deer, and good buffalo over in that area over there. So we'll see if we can find something over there. And in the meantime, while we're walking down here, we'll see if we can find something along the banks here. Every now and again, the red deer like to sit over here, and the pumas like to sit there and chase all the animals for you. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Hope you get a NY day off. Yeah, no, I don't think so. They'll be uh, working tomorrow. You reckon you'll be home by probably lunchtime anyway, though, don't you? Oh, no, probably not that early, but I don't think we'll be working too Full late. Day. yep. Probably three o'clock we'll finish. 
Yeah, well, I'm glad you had a um, welding helmet on too, Vino. It's the last thing you need is to be in hospital over Christmas and New Year's. Nobody needs that. It's, uh, it's meant to be the uh, nice time of the year. Where, hey, there's that puma, I bet you. Eight hey, mythical. Well, just because you're a puma on my map, you must I think bear. you must die. And I think I missed. No, you got it. I did get it? Yeah, I saw it. Okay. At least it's just standing there now. Though. It's just standing there now? Nice. Yeah, behind the tree, it's just standing there. It's probably really annoyed because I've shot it. I don't know. Where are you? Uh, did it go purple? No, it hasn't gone purple, so maybe I, I don't know whether I did get it or not. It didn't look like yeah. I got it. For me, it did. Okay. Mm. No gloves. Ah. Uh, yeah, see, Bino. Yeah, yeah, no. You're going to weld, mate. You've always got to wear those gloves. You do. As horrible <clears throat> as it. Hey, no, see, look. It's just. it's. There's two of them there. No? And I missed that one again. I missed. I missed Dude. it. Yep. I reckon I completely missed it the first time, but then it went down, picked up another one, and came back. Sort of a thing. Really? Yep, it was a big kitty, and of course it was a, um absolute garbage shot on my behalf. I'm going to get used to these Hyperion scars. Well, not too bad with the Hyperion, uh, the Hyperion, the friggin' um, Helios, but, oh no, I did hit it. Okay. I hit it. Yeah. I hit it. Right. Well, what was the other one then? That was an 89 kilo as well. Jeez. So they were both big kitties. Almost didn't put the helmet on. Yeah, well, that would have been really gnarly. I'm glad you did, bud. I really am. Um, okay. See, now I would have thought if I'd hit it, because of the angle I was on... It would have been a uh, lung shot, or at least intestines. Well, I thought it was about halfway up its body, so it would have at least hit stomach and intestines. Well, yeah, but it's a low bleed rate, and it's still going hardcore. But that's all right. I will find it. 50 to 75. The other one was, this one's 90 kilos, the other one was 89, so... They were probably both mythicals. I thought I heard something. It was you. Hmm. Yeah, I think it was each other. 25. 25. Where'd you Ooh, go? Up the hill. It's just, it's, yeah. Doing loop to loops now. 0 25. 20 kilos. Not a bad size. Yeah, it may seem unnecessary, GG, but then, like Beno says, accidents like that happen, and all of a sudden you realise how necessary that helmet and that pair of gloves actually were. And you see it so often, just welders just turn away and then just zap, 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 zap. And kick you in the guts for being a pain in my backside, you. 739 silver. Well, we don't need him anymore. He's gone. We don't care about the other one. Hopefully we changed it away. Solid 7 evening. Welcome to the stream, buddy. How are you? So good to see you. And Alex Weisenberger. First stream, any diamonds yet? As a matter of fact, yeah, buddy, we did. We got a piebald diamond teal duck. So, but uh, welcome to the stream. So good to see you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Is Beard playing? No, Beard is not no. playing today. Uh, I have with me Ricky Racer and his lovely French beret and scarf. Um, and if I could have, I would have had non-inspirational uh, gaming with me, but unfortunately he works on a Sunday, so it's just not possible. Breathing in a healthy cloud of galvanized steel. Yeah, I can imagine that wouldn't be too pleasant. I really don't know. 
yeah. Galvanised steel can't be good to be breathing in, surely. Nope. It's yeah, not, not Makes good. Makes sick. Makes right. you sick in the stomach if you breathe in too much of it. I can imagine it would. It's galvanised steel. It's not really yeah. supposed to be in your belly. So we'll go for a bit of a jog here, Riggy. We used to get given um, half litres of milk to drink before we welded with it. Oh, okay. Some magnesium actually in the milk um, cancels it out. Lines your stomach or something? Maybe. Yeah, but it cancels the effect of the um, zinc. Oh, okay. What do Somehow. You know? So they reckon it doesn't work for everyone, but it does work for a lot of people. There you go. Oh. No, that's you. I keep hearing things and I'm thinking, is that an animal? No, it's you. It's you running beside me. Where's that place? You can find out who's streaming when they go live. That would be the Discord channels. Right. <gasps> that was definitely something. Oh, that was a puma. <laughs> <laughs> and he killed me. That smacked me wow. too. Don't worry about it. That was that 89 kilo one. No, it wasn't. Nelly died. That was another one. You sod. Oh well, almost no, only half, only half dead. So I'm all good. Um, I'm alive again now. Oh, you got first aid pack. I actually brought one of those because I could fit it. I brought a first aid pack today. Not that I'll get a chance to use it by the looks of things. Bit like quickies for welders, Ricky. The old milk. Yep, that's it. There you go. Fancy little hints and chicks. Oh, hello. Oh, look at that. We got red there. Red there. I haven't seen a red deer in ages. Awesome, Jet. Thank you so much. We will catch up with you soon. You have yourself a fantastic new year as well. There's a black buck up there. And another one up there. And a heap of red deer coming. Any males? There is. Any male? Oh, yeah. Look wow. at that. There's a male. Oh. Seven. Seven. Oh, wow. Let me know when you've got a fem lined. And let's see if we can call him out a little bit further, actually, just to get him in a open area. In two days, you got two diamond water buffaloes, a 967 and a 970. Nice, Alex. Very nice. Don't stand like that. Now, see, that that's a level seven, they reckon. And Hirschfelden, I reckon that would have at least been a mythical. You yeah, are, I'm ready whenever you are. I'm just going to wait for him to get to a half decent angle where he will. Uh, mm, yeah, that'll do. Three, two, one. Did you get it? Oh, I think I shot her. I don't know whether I got a okay. good shot on her. He's down. Yeah. Yeah, Bino, like I say, I, I, I think that the. Um, yeah, I think they look bigger in Patagonia. I think they've just increased the rack size on them, maybe, and swapped the, uh, the one rack up sort of thing. So a seven will have an eight rack, an eight will have a nine rack, and a nine, well, yeah, nines have just got absolutely enormous racks on them. I've only ever seen videos of them, and my God, they are huge. And thank you very much. Yeah, I, I don't mind that particular angle. Um... You can come in through the shoulder blade and sort of kill it through the spine and the neck. Any any further f sort of to the left, and I probably wouldn't have taken it because I don't like that front on shot. I've never been particularly good at it. Uh, I don't think that'll be a hard shot, Jerry. I think I'll find that it's probably a neck shot or maybe a lung and thoracic spine. Awesome, GG. Thank you so much for tuning in, bud. You have yourself a fantastic new year, and we will catch you soon. See you on the Discord. So, we're going to have a look at this bloke here. I'm hoping, Jerry. I really I really am because, you know, I mean... Yeah, that's definitely bigger than a 7 of Hirschfelden. Yeah, but then they do actually say at the start of when you load into a whoa. single bag... Whoa! Hey. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Right across the screen. Wow. And that was a wow. wow. That's pretty handy. Yeah. Wow. 
That's right, I took revenge for you, man. There you go, there's a death. There's, there's one. But yeah, like they were saying at the start of the single player that they have record-breaking red deer in Patagonia. So, therefore, the racks should be bigger. That's what I'm thinking. They've just they've moved everything they've up by that. They've just made them a little bit bigger. Yep, that would be a normal eight rack. Right, let's go and see if we can uh, pick up this buffalo that I just took a whole heap of shots at. Jeez, I tell you, that was that was unexpected to say the least. Your your animals are certainly as violent as you know my ones, which is fantastic. Now I'll have to find Ricky. Where'd he go? Oh, he's way over there. Yeah. Oh, Craigie, it threw me back like. It threw me across the lake and I ended at the bottom of the lake, which is what, 700 meters from where you are. Yep. And then it put me back to the outpost just here. Okay. And yeah, I was flying through the air. Look at that. Still get 75% integrity and I put all five shots in him. <laughs> nice. 836 gold I got on that. And uh... yes, I did get a dirt nap. Yep. Yep. Okay, well, I'll come back over to you and we'll go around the right side of the lake this time. I'm nearly two. Oh. No, you're okay. miles away from me. I was only 600 metres from you. I yeah, was, I'm, I'm only 400. I'm, I'm only 200 <laughs> metres from you now. And we'll go around the right side of the lake anyway. Yep, there you go. F, F to pay respect to Ricky's dead body. <coughs> and see, now I did not... Where was Jet? Jet missed that. She would have loved did. that. She would have thought that was fantastic. Oh, hello, you zapped back up behind me again. <laughs> I was running down to you. Oh, crikey. Yeah, she would have thought that was fantastic because hers don't charge. Yet yeah, yours do and so do mine. Quite often. It's, yeah. um, you know, it's it's just one of those things. Well, he just come out of nowhere. I didn't even see it. I didn't hear him. I didn't see him. All of a sudden, I was getting charged. It was, what the heck is going on here? But, uh, yeah, there you go. The buffalo on Ricky's map are angry and cranky. And they just want a piece of you. Which is fine. Bring it on. What is with the F? I see it all the time. Never. Yeah, um. It just became a thing when we started dying. People started putting Fs in the chat for respect. <laughs> paying respect for the death. First thing that came to mind. There you go. And with flares. Oh, hello. There's oh, another man. big red deer. That's alright. He didn't. He won't run far. That's a big level seven too. We've got good sense, so we should be able to call him back out with any luck. Wow, just walk up on a tree coming up the hill. That was fantastic. F for forgotten. F for fail, F for forgotten. Yeah. Fail. Fell over, died. Oh, there you go. You've got charging ones as well, Flair. Nice. It's, um, yeah. Oh, okay, Beano, I don't know what, I don't know what it is on any other channel or Facebook or no, anything like that. No idea. I just know that they uh, started putting respect in for the dead, dead fallen soldiers that we keep, we keep dying. And, uh, yeah. Where are you, Red Deer? Come out and say hello. You generally don't run too far. And the wind is good, so he should be able to pop out pretty soon. Fallen. Yeah. Random. Randoms. That's that's it. Random coincidences. Where'd you go, you sod? You were a nice looking seven. Well, that's another way of putting it, Flair. Yes. A respectful and... Uh, Child friendly F bomb. It's possible. Child friendly F bomb. Yep. Okay. Just F. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there he is. He's coming. He's got a. Oh, and there he goes again. Wow. He's a skittish one, this one. He was coming up the hill, too. <laughs> That's right. Awesome, Stace. Thank you so much. What have we got? Yeah, I know, just now. I don't know why he's so skittish. The wind is good. We're creeping. I don't know. We'll just keep walking around the right side of the lake here. 
Because generally where you find some nice axes and black buck and occasionally a buffalo that might try to kill you. It's F for Fallen from Online Responses to American Mass Shootings. Oh, there you go. There you go. We have an answer. I don't know about you, Riggy. I think it's getting hotter. It's warming up. It's uh, in old Australia. Yeah, it is 27 degrees. Hot one day, stinking hot the next. Yeah, I don't hear any pumas around here, and I haven't seen any. It's possible. I see footprints, but could be. That seems to be about the only thing that usually spooks them. Well, we've got a bunch of animals over but there. That is um, purple right next to us as well, so maybe he came from the purpled. Oh, with yeah, well, the, that's... Um, hunt pressure, so he's a bit skittish. That is true. A bunch of axis there over here, though, so we're heading in the right direction. I think we head down to the water a little bit. Yes, you do. You need to put up your good avatar, Mrs. B. Ah, uh, there you go. Reference to a scene from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Your character at the funeral from his dead comrade is prompted to press F to say respects. There you go. Oh, there you go. And thank you so much for clearing that up. That's where the F comes from, Bino. And here I thought we were special. That's you. Okay. It is me. So I can hear and things. My computer has decided that it's wanting to warm right up and decided it wants to kick all the fans in. So. Uh, white tails and black tails. White tails go to level 3. Black tails go to level 5. 38 degrees where you are, Matty. Oh, 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 man. I remember those days. Man, Isa was like that constantly. It was. Minus 10 where you are, Flair. I'll swap you. Yeah, so that's too low. I, I'd do uh, I'd do minus 10. I have no problems with that. Just put on some more clothes. She's all good. It was nice here this morning. It was um, 6.30 this morning. It was actually foggy. And there were clouds. Foggy and, and rainy. Looked like it was going to be a um, really nice day. And yeah. No. It's turned out to be a stinking hot day. It's, it's never good. But that's all right. Black buck female coming out. Okay. There was a herd of axis there up here as well. I'm pretty sure this is up around the area where Zaggy found his... Um... Oh, black buck male. Ooh, can you see it? Oh, axis deer male. Sorry, level three. Oh, that yeah, one. coming down towards me. 113 well, out. If you got a shot on them, my friend, you know what I say. Oh, they're behind trees. But that's the one there. Yep. I don't know if he'll come out any further than that. That's 40 where Jerry is, 35 where Glenn is. Minus 14 in North there, Dakota. Bino. Jeez. How much? 47 for Bino. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, no. Fuck at that, Bino. That's the whole herd up there. That's a, they might come out. That's a fall. Yeah. I don't think they're going to come out into this grassy area though, they're just going to walk. But there's a four up there as well as that three. So. Yeah. And they're all just walking past that area. I don't quite know where they're headed. Whether they head out into that open area over there, maybe? Possibly? Or whether they're just going to disappear up into the bush. Oh, I can see him. You can see him? Well, yeah. Is that the three or the four? The three. There's a four in there as well. But if you've got a shot on him, you, you Not take on it. on the three. He's just about to come out again, and I will have a shot. Yep, I'm with you. Oh, hello. You're taking the shot. He's down. He's down. Rightio, let's go that way and we'll find out. I'm with you, Flair. Cold is good. You can always put on more clothes in the cold. It's very hard to uh, cool down. Unless you want to pay for air conditioning, which is, you know, just blinking expensive and ridiculous, and my house doesn't have it. Yeah, Bino, I'm with you. I don't do the humidity. I like the dry heat. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's. Uh, I think that's about the only thing that made um, Mount Isa even semi-bearable was that there was very little humidity. Because, yeah, when the humidity came, oh my god, it was just stupid. Port Augusta, yeah, yeah. In South Australia. Yeah, yeah. I understand that one. It can get humid here, Vino, but not for very many days. It'll be, you know, a couple of days of humidity and then it goes away. Yeah, we've actually, um, we've had it pretty good for the last probably week and a half, two weeks. That was nice, 792 silver. Um, there's been no real sun. It's just been cloudy weather. So it's been nice, good breeze. Christmas Day was absolutely beautiful for the first time in, I don't know how many years. Yeah, um, we're a hundred and uh, nine hundred and eighty-five feet above sea level, I think it is, mm. and about what one hundred and fifty k's in from the coast. Yep, yep. So yeah, we don't get lots of humidity. Um, cockatoo birdman, Bill, welcome to the stream. How are you? Seventy-eight in Australia, and in, in Arizona, seventy-eight degrees in Arizona. Okay, so that's about what. 32, 33. 32, That's still pretty warm. I'd rather not mm. be in that temperature. No. Hey, look, there's a duck. There is a duck. It's just flying. It's just doing its own thing. Solid 7 says we use our callers way more than he does. He tends to use them once per minute. Um, yeah, it's... I don't know. I just... Three calls will break him from any any sort of needle feed zone generally if you've got them trapped in a needle feed zone usually call it three times it'll break them and they'll come towards you um other than that yeah i just like to randomly call animals here and there and everywhere and see what uh see what's willing to pop its head out to be shot at the end of the day there's a muley too look at that i'll just creep down here and see what we can do Thirty Celsius is the perfect temp for you, Bino. Yeah, you've been living in South Australia too long, man. Just, just way too long. Thirty degrees is a nice temperature. Yeah, twenty-four. Yeah, 20. twenty-four, twenty-six. I'm happy. And I mean, to, ultimately, I'm probably happier in eighteen. That was what my air conditioner was set to in Mount Isa. Eighteen degrees. Oh, hello. What have we got over here? Got things running through the woods. Animals all over the place. I can hear Riki behind me. There's a mule deer here somewhere as well. Something's going to walk out very shortly and probably spook itself. Or spook us. Kill or us. Tag us. One of the two. Ha <laughs> uh, James Bolton. Seven. See, seven Celsius. That's, um, yeah, that's pretty cold. That's, that's pretty nice. I'd, I'd, I'd do that. But welcome to the stream, NMW King. Ah, FaZe. Changed your name. Awesome, buddy. Good to see you. There's another two. No other ones out there. They're all just fems. Yep. Yeah. And a two. And look, I've just picked up another feed zone from a duck that I already looked at twice. I don't think these deer want to pop out. They're just over the other side of this, like, of this um, bushy area. Yeah, I can see one. Them. Oh yeah, I can see her. Oh no, that's a male. That's a male, really? That was oh, a level two. three. There is a level four still floating around, but yeah, so if you got a shot. female over there as well. Well, if you've got a shot on that, I'll take a shot on this duck. No, that male's walked in behind the trees again. Sod. I think they're coming back out. So oh yeah, look at them. All the females. And so the male will come walking out in a second. Let's say, oh, there he is on the lake's edge. Three very easy. On the lake's edge. Yep. Oh, I don't see him. I've got a shot on him. Oh, that puma is probably going to frighten everything though. But I'm. Oh, that's a different one. I'm going to shoot this guy. Oh, not from there. I'm not. Maybe from that angle. Yeah. 
And can I get a duck on the on the fly as well? Probably not. Ah, oh, really? No bullets? Are you kidding me? Did you get yep, them all? I got one. <clears throat> I just dropped one. Maybe even two. Oh, I saw at least one go down, if not two. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Flair. Thanks, James. Thanks, guys. If I'd probably been paying attention to the chat, I would have known to reload my shotgun. <laughs> uh, MW King. FaZe wants to know how much this game is in the US. Uh, someone in the chat might be able to help you out with that, but I do know that they've got the 2019 edition has been released, which has everything up to the ducks duck doesn't have the duck and cover dlc parque fernando or africa but i think it includes everything else and i'm not sure what the price of it is buddy 18 degrees and big ride on spiders yeah 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 it's a fun place to come i keep telling you mrs b it's you know Either that or it's 48 degrees and we've got big ride on spiders and drop bears. So. Hello. You were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, there's a duck in here. And we'll take an 840 gold for him. Not too bad for a level 3. But that's it. Look at the, I mean, that's the rack, really. It's just. It's boring. It's. Eh. It's boring. $40 for the 2019 for everything. There you go. Where's your duck? In there. In where? In the tree. Oh, yeah. I better confirm the trophy over this way so we can actually see said duck. Oh, that was an 847 gold. No, nice. oh, that was nice. There's another one up here. Look at them. Beautiful. That wing spread just looks so good. Oh, look. There's a puma. Shut up. And a female duck, yeah. And a female, yep. You'll take, yeah, yeah, okay. You keep telling me that, Mrs. B. Uh, yeah. When you're sitting in 48 degree temperatures, then uh, then we'll talk. Until then, <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, anybody that says I'll take 48 degrees and love it is, um, yeah, hasn't been in 48 degrees in Australia. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you don't you don't want to be in 48 degrees. No, no, nobody, not even Australians want to be in 48 degrees. Trust me, Mrs. B, it's it's horrible. It's just horrible, flat out, unbearable. Um, do we hunt in real life? Not at the moment. MW uh, used to hunt in New Zealand when I lived over there. Um, hunted red deer with my brother-in-law. But uh, being as the gun laws in Australia are a little bit more strict, I don't actually have a gun license over here. Although, we do know an instructor, so it is possible that I may look at getting one in the uh, future. Whether I go hunting in this country is another story. There are so many things out there that want to kill you in the bush. Um, and they're small, and you don't often see them, and they'll sneak up on you and you're dead. So, and it's hard to go hunting here where we are yeah without having a million permits and paying thousands of dollars to do it all was yep it's very hard uh solid we do get the dry 48 but we also get the wet 48 too um mount isa yeah it got both but very rarely most of the time it was the dry 48 um but up here yeah we occasionally get a bit of the gold coast humidity depending on whether it's rained in the last few days or not um so yeah and that's right glenn you sit at a road too long and your tires will start to melt with the road in 48 i mean you see it you see it on trucking shows truck drivers will be driving down the road and the tar is melting on the road it's it is that melting hot. on the road yep and they can't drive yeah it just starts hey, really a puma really i want to come back i want to come back and be sure oh, no that's that's not going to call a puma back no matter how hard I try, that is not going to call a puma. Uh, that might. Oh, there's a buffalo. Buffalo. Where are you? I see you, I think. Is that you? Is that a tree? I don't really know what that is. But I'm going to put in slugs. 
Oh, we're gonna see if we can get a buffalo with some slugs. Are you allowed to shoot the southern furry nosed wombat? I'm no. gonna say no to that, Bino. Does that entitle me to a gun a gun license? If so, I'm all over it. No worries. I can I can tell you what you fellas protect over here. It's it's, it's weird. We'd pretty much shoot it all in New Zealand. Worked in warehouses where your shoes melt to the floor. Yep, yep. That that's hot. So that that that's hot solid. Very hot. Very. Yep. Honestly, Australia is a fantastic place. Um, I've lived here nigh on twenty years now. Uh, I get offered to go home quite regularly and live, to which I always say no thanks. Can't do it just not happening Australia it's it's I'll suffer the heat because the place is just so fantastic it has everything you want um, a job would be nice at the moment and I'm sure I will smash into one after Christmas and New Year's it's a tough period of time to try and order a job when you're uh, going through the Christmas New Year period but it's yeah it's a wonderful place if you can get over the spiders the snakes the sharks the drop bears the kangaroos the cassowaries um, the camels. lizards, the camels, um, the heat. Have I left anything out? No. no that's pretty much. Oh, the stingrays, the uh, jellyfish. Oh, candy. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that covers most things that'll kill you in this most country. Things that'll kill you in the country. Yeah, that's yep. about it. Yep. And mountain I've... Dew. Yes, we do have Mountain yes, Dew. Yes, everyone has Mountain Dew. I don't do the Dew. Um, it's not one of my favourite drinks. I'm not really a big fan of the flavour of it. It's a strange flavour. I used to drink Mellow Yellow, which is what I'm pretty sure Mountain Dew became. Or Mellow Yellow became Mountain Dew. But, uh, yeah, no, definitely. Oh, look, there's the buffaloes. And they're just going to stand there and look at us too, aren't they? Hello. What's your name? I'm going to try and sneak up on you a little bit closer. Put that on 75. See if I can knock you over with a slug. Hello, hello, hello. Well, they're both fives. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look, multiple times. You know, once once is nice, but you'll never see everything you want to see in one run. That's the problem, Seven. Ooh, they're coming. They are. They are coming. Which I'm one going. do you want? Uh, I'll take whichever one you're not aimed at. How's that? There you go. Um, I'm just going to crawl down over here a little bit further. Try and get out of your sort of path. Well, one at the back is probably easier for me. Yep. I'm going to go the one at the front. I'll go the one at the front. Let me know when you're ready. Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, yours went down. What did you shoot yours with? 45-70. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm shooting mine with a shotgun. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to die or not, but oh, yeah, it's going to be entertaining. I just wanted to see if you could knock one. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at the blood pool. Oh, yeah, he'll go down. He'll go down. Oh, yeah. I'll let you pick up your one. Oh, you can pick it up if you want. Okay, I'll pick it up. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, I, we, we don't have Sprite uh, Crab. You just left the session. Are you joking? Nope. Ah. Uh, that was heart and lung. <laughs> Game. Yes, yeah, yep, it's crashed. Session. It's crashed. Well. I'll go and quickly pick this up and then see if it actually, it'll probably do a no one shot it thing. Yep. Your connection to the network has been lost. Online features will not be available. <laughs> wow. Really? Thank you so much, EW. Thank you so much, Internet. Thank you so much. Well, on that note, we were only six minutes off anyway, so I'm going to call it a stream. I'm going to say thank you so much, Riki, for um, taking me out on your map and uh, letting me have a shoost and find a diamond piebald duck. No worries. And I'm going to say thank you to everybody in chat for being here the whole time and talking and having a laugh. Come back here, you heifer, you're late. Sorry, man. And we were doing so well, and then the stream just decided that it was going to finish. 
whether I liked it or not, it was going to finish. Yeah, no one killed that one for a 585. Oh, cool. Okay. So, bonus. How many shots? Ah, uh, there was two. Two shots. Oh, well, I hit it twice. Oh, well, there was like 11 rounds in it. Yeah. Well, no, not 11, yep. two. But, yeah. No worries. Two shots. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so <laughs> much. Dashes, so, it doesn't really tell you. No. So I don't know. No. You're all absolute legends. Um, check out all the all the uh, creators I support in the um, comments down below. You've got Ricky Racer, Sean Johns, Non Inspirational, the Jaxy Beard himself, Zaggy DK, and of course Flinter. Uh, the Discord link is down there as well, so make sure you jump in the Discord. It's a fantastic place to be. Everyone loves it, and we all have a fantastic time there. But thank you all once again. Take it easy, and I will see you on the next one.